Hey guys, Chuck and Stacy here with VL Buzz Weekly. We are back with Jessica G. George and Grant George, the voice of our dynamic duo. Let's get buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VL Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Jesse, I know that, you know, and did you ever coach? No. Grant, you never no, no. You used to coach like a f crazy woman. Yeah. You were a great coach. Yeah. Like, I saw people working with you and just all of a sudden they became mm. amazing. That to lead to this. Um, I think that one of the great things about you two and why you guys book so much stuff and now you're like passing it on to the kids so that you can like retire. <laughs> and, like, right. Go and play <laughs> mini golf. little minions. Do the it. kids are like working their buns off. Yeah. No. Um, Self-direction, like what are some tips you can give these guys out there? There's some people that don't live in LA, they can't go to the studio, mm -hmm. they're only at home. Self-directing tips for them to like get out of themselves mm -hmm. and Well, perform. I was 15, you know, and I had to make it work. And yeah. during that time, I, I, I lived in LA, but I took, I took the bus to a coach. So there are coaching people all over now and, and because, Everybody can set up a booth, you know, yeah. and call mm -hmm. themselves a voiceover artist and sign up um, on the pay to places. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there are people who are really coaching. So I don't think it's so hard to find a coach anymore. Yeah. I moved to Washington, D.C., and when I was living there, I was on the radio and I wanted to do voiceovers. And I found an acting coach. I found the closest person to it. I think you can read, I think you can go online like crazy. There's yeah. so many great coaches. Uh, once in a while, I'll coach people who are friends or people who live far, like, hey, can you coach me into this animation thing? And we'll go on Skype or exactly, FaceTime. Yeah. Right. You don't yeah. have to be in the right. same city. You don't have yeah. to be in the same city. In mm -hmm. fact, I love working with people who aren't in the same city. So I think that that's so omnipresent now. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be in LA or New York or Chicago anymore. True. You can be, I mean, I have friends who are making a killing in Portland, Oregon. Yep. In Las mm -hmm. Vegas. In Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. 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 Different places. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we teach, yeah, we do, we teach classes once in a while, like at cons and okay. as guest yeah, teachers yeah, yeah. together, mm -hmm. but our whole thing is about chemistry. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's great advice. Finding coaches mm -hmm. wherever you live, there, yeah. you can find one for Technology. sure. Um, but, Self-directing for yeah. those people. Let's say you know, because working with a coach is one. But if when you're in the booth and you're self-directing yourself on a commercial or a promo or an animation gig, something comes in. What do you guys do? How do you break it down? Like, how do you become a master self-director yourself? Well, I mean, first and foremost, you don't go into the studio with the copy. Ah. And so I had to teach my kids that the other day because they hop. I'm like, you guys, I have an audition for you. And they popped in the studio. I was like, uh, 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 you know, for rule of thumb, read your copy and just read it. Don't do anything with it. Don't just read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. One of our agents uh, it says, just read the copy the first time because it'll never sound it. You know, read it out and hear yourself out loud reading it. Mm -hmm. Once you understand what the words are, then understand what it's saying, right? And then we always, just from the training that we have, we've always had a way of finding someone to talk to. Or, you know, not just following into what the, spe what the specs say at the bottom, like we want somebody, you know, with a hokey sense of humor and, you know, right. and sounds natural. And, but it, it's really like, who am I talking to and who's my audience? And getting them there. Right. Like g absolutely getting them there. And also I think from on camera from is what are the stakes? Like what are what are they against, you know? Mm -hmm. And yeah. how mm -hmm. are you convincing them? So there's always that other person there. That's yeah. always you you always have to bring in that element. And I think that sometimes I get I get a little foggy or I get sleepy on that or I think I know it. And then I hear myself back. And what, because I edit my own stuff all day long, I edit my own stuff. And I, I'm like, I, and I did it the other day. Yesterday I listened to something and I said, no, I wasn't present. There was no one there. Mm -hmm. I, those words just came off my lips. They sound okay? Yeah, but they're not gonna get me the job. Right. Because yeah. I, there was nobody there, there was nobody asking me a question to get into that or you know, going against like, I don't, I'm not, the, why would I drink that? And then here's my big long answer, Yeah, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I can't have that or, you know, I'm, I'm, di I'm diabetic and right. here's my big long answer. Yeah. So there has to be something at stake 
Yeah. You have to answer people's needs. And for me, going in with that element is super important and holding on to that as the key. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm answering something. I'm giving. That's an, a great. I'm, yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. really cool. Yeah. And I write idea, it in, man. like keep yeah. an, keep answering. Right, it. right, yeah. right, right. So Good. you do all of that before you step in. Before I step in. Mm -hmm. And then I go and I read it again. Mm -hmm. I read it and I know my first take is not my take. Even if it sounds good, but because of the you know the greatness of, of a quick editing, digital editing, I may say, say something in the first one that I like better than the way I said it in the second one, and I right. just snag it. Yep. Right, right, right. Yeah, but That's I always beautiful. feel like the more I do, and the more I connect, and and I'm the hardest on myself with that. I think we both are. Well, you always see we have two we have two studios. Yeah, you always see us popping back in. Yeah. Hopping back in. Yeah. 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 That's just, cool. Even just to get a, a snippet. Yeah. That's the challenge, too. I mean, when you have emails full of auditions for the day and you've got to get through them and there's mm -hmm. deadlines and this is due and this is due, to not just go in there and do your audition to make the deadline. Yeah. Right. Like you still have to connect with a copy. We do that once in a while. Yeah. yeah. It is easy to get caught up in that hole of, I just got to get this done. I just got to get this done. And, mm -hmm. and you can hear it in your read yeah. that you're just in there to get it done and get it edited and, and send in on time. Yeah. How but much you, do you guys, if ever, do you say, you know what, I'm not going to submit that. I'm not going to do it. Do you pass much? Did you ever or? pass on anything? We have been a little <laughs> bit lately. <laughs> she, she does. <laughs> does. Okay. Jess is like, I ain't going to pass on anything. Yeah. Hell no. Uh, uh, no, do we you, don't typically do. pass, but I mean, at some, there are some days where there's just, there's so much and you've still got to do whatever you're off at a session yeah. that you have mm -hmm. to kind of like pick and choose like, eh. uh, But we do it based on what we, I mean, what we know some of these people pay. Right. Yeah. Right, like they've okay. gotten caught by us. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. They've gotten caught by us. Yeah. You know, they're and, and the we value to, police are hard yeah. at work. Yeah. Yeah. Value, good police. For you. value police. Value police. I like yeah. that. Good for you. I think it's important. So it's you know, you got to have a value for your work. And, Absolutely. And you know, sometimes we're working the hardest for the least amount of money, and that's one thing we've never really, you know, paid attention to. Actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the money aspect, but I think sometimes when you're lining stuff up, you always want to get your agent stuff in first and yeah. foremost and fastest. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah. then, you know, and then the other stuff that comes in. We have a lot of clients, so work always comes first, whatever's due. Like yeah. I, because we're doing a lot of radio imaging now, and some days, like today, I was full up with stuff that needs to go on the air tomorrow morning. So I know the engineers are sitting there going, Come on. Where's Jessica? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I have a whole team waiting on me to, mm -hmm. you know, get this stuff going and yeah. make sure and that, you know. And they might want revisions. And, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I may not make, that may not be my highest paying job. It doesn't matter. It's right. my job. Well, right, and, and right, right. That's a commitment. You yeah. Know? Right. You're not going to go against your word because that's your word. That's yeah. my word. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. You guys are so um, adept at the business side of voiceover. Is that something that you were taught, or do you think it's something instinctively that you have? Do you remember? Or did you bring, you know, when you guys came together, was it something that you, because I know we kind of have our yep. thing, our yeah. rhythm, but was it something like, you know, Grant, you were like, oh, I'm, this is my jam, and Jess, you're like, this, and then that's how it came, it or, or was it? became the super duo. Yeah. Do, uh, do you remember? Oh, I don't know Tony if you remember Robbins? this. Yeah, Tony yeah, Robbins. Exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. He has really big, big hands. He does. Yeah. Yes, he does. Who yeah. are you? Big Who hands. What a gravel. What a gravel. We've listened to that. Remember uh, what? You uh, said do you he... remember years ago I did this thing called Shameless Self Promotion? Yes. With Steve Staley. It was one totally. of my best friends. And I did it with a couple is. I said was. Isn't that terrible? He's going to be like, you say you is. Why did you kill me? Was. Yeah. No. What, yeah. Um, but, you know, and then for a while I dressed up with Michael Reese and, and Bob Glauberman and we did shameless self-promotion and then they gave up on me because I made them dress as cows yeah. and deliver go into the... And, barbecue sauce. And yeah, and deliver stuff to the agencies. And I remember <laughs> Harv Kelmanson looking at us and going, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Not a happy man. That. And that didn't make those guys happy. At all. <laughs> oh my and they gave up on that. But we used to like dress up and we'd wear dealy boppers and we would go out there and market shamelessly. But it was always in fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was always in fun. Yeah. Well, when Grant, you know, and then that kind of stopped. And when Grant and I met, we met through voice. Like I met his voice before I met him. Oh. Really? Yeah. And we were in a movie together nine years before we met. Wow. Yeah. wow. yeah. 
but I had met his voice, and that's a whole other. How do you well, how do you meet it? How did you meet his voice? <laughs> like, what's that? Well, I'll finish the. Okay. Uh, well, Sounds kind of about? dirty. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we don't want to talk about the voice thing. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, so, in terms of promoting, when we met one another, we just were like, let's figure out how to always get out in front of people. Yeah. So it, it's putting our clever marketing minds together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we all are all we are always on the same page about having a little bit of a twist. We're doing one this week that's going out to how many people? Two. <laughs> you two. You guys will get it. Yeah. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we're doing one this week that's going out to 1,500 people. Okay. Yeah, and that's how we market, and um, and you know, it's it's funky and it's cool and it's going to grab their attention because yep. it's a skeleton with headphones on. You nice, know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it says imaging is in our bones. So you, very yeah. very cool. Yeah. And so we See, always I love have, that. You guys are always thinking always, from a brand mm -hmm. perspective. Brand perspective. Something that's yeah. going to really really catch your so it's not like a rubber eye, yeah. stamp each right. each campaign you do each little blast you do it's not always i mean the essence of it is still you guys but you're not just sort of like let me send those cards out again let me bake those muffins no. again there's exactly. all it's always evolving and shifting yeah always evolving and then sometimes we just decide not to do it for a spell mm -hmm. you know or not even decide we just get busy yeah. yeah yeah but i think it's constantly marketing ourselves constantly yeah. staying in the loop and, and the only way that you're going to get work is to get in front of the people that hire True. Yeah. Yeah. And because no one comes together for any of this stuff yeah. mm -hmm. anymore, we don't go into casting offices as much as we used to, and we don't go to advertising agencies at all right, like I did right, in the right. late 80s and 90s. We are, we are done. <laughs> yeah. 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 What is your ROI from your efforts? Well, we've been able to maintain a certain lifestyle and mm -hmm. to raise our kids in it and to, you know, have a really incredibly blessed life. So I think the, re the return of our investment's been fantastic. But I think if we're looking at it as a one for one, it doesn't work that way mm -hmm. at all. It's like if you set up your GPS system, you set up, you're always putting in the final address, right? Yeah. And, and it, yeah, it's going to route you this way, but all of a sudden there's an accident there. It's going to take you around another mm -hmm. route. Route that yeah. may take a few mm -hmm. minutes longer or a different direction, but it's going to get you to the same destination. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. even though we're going to send out, you know, a thousand cards, we may not get any answers from those people, but all of a sudden we'll get a call from, you know, some guy in Africa. This happened in my last marketing. Yeah. Who's like, look, I need a hundred things done. Yeah. And I'm like, did you get my car? He's like, what car? What? Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get my car. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get yeah. my car. But it's really that intention. It's that end it's result that, that you're yes. focused on and yes. staying in action, like at least moving in one direction mm -hmm. towards your goal, towards yeah. that end result. Yeah. And whether that brings yeah. it from this direction or that direction, yeah. you, now, just, you have to stay active. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I love yeah. that. So you guys are like... Very, very business minded with your business. I mean, you treat it like a business. Oh, yeah. It is a business. You I think know, we spend more time on the business. To mm -hmm. like, how important do you think marketing is? Oh. 100 to 10. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 you hear what I yeah. just said? Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people you know, they'll sit there and they'll send out 15 twits a day and. Yeah. You know, whether that gets, you're, you're tweeting to the people who you're working with exactly. that can't hire right. you. So. Exactly. so important. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Same with my business, same with Stacy's business. The business side of the business is really, really important. Mm -hmm. I know people that aren't that great, but are such great exactly. marketers mm -hmm. and that, that they do amazingly well. Yeah. And the flip side of that is I went to school with people who were brilliant actors, but you could never see them like getting Ever. their, their mm -hmm. stuff together yeah. to get yeah. that stuff out yeah. or market yeah. themselves. Yeah. And yeah. it's lost. You know? Brilliant, but I think the I think the answer to that really is intention. Yeah, you know, intention. it's all about intention and not having a ceiling on you know where you can go. Like a lot of people, we call them what do we call them? The the um, ceiling people. The ceiling yeah. people. The <laughs> it's a great upper book. Limiters. Upper people. limiters. It's called upper yeah. limiters, basically, upper limiters. which yeah. is just people yeah. who they can't see past. You know, they can't see into their genius. They're kind of at great, and they kind of just, you know, this mm -hmm. is working for me. Mm -hmm. But then they can never get to that next that next level. Yeah. And once you're aware of that, everybody around you does it, and yeah. then you just start, you know, receiving Well, it's that, that frequency. Yeah. I mean, because we're all energy, right? So it's yeah. like that frequency. You can tell when you meet somebody. 
Yeah. That there's something about that that either repels you or draws you. Yeah, and it's hard together. because we've gone and sat at lakes with people who are whining about their business and mm -hmm. understandably, you know, and you have a heart for what's happening, but then the because we know so much about marketing, we're like, what have you done to market yourself? Right. You know, yeah. we're right. saying under our breath right. or we're saying it's hard to hear all the complaints when there's n you're not being proactive. Yeah. yeah, you've got to be proactive. proactive. You can't expect your agent to be. Well, exactly. Whether you're <laughs> represented or not, and especially if you're represented, it's not a hundred percent up to your agent. Yeah. Well, you if to you're represented. create your career. Yeah, and you're you've got three hundred people reading for the same job, maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, or, or you're sitting there marketing yourself to ten people who are, have the potential to hire you. Yeah. So you're doing better with that. With yeah. that. Right. The other good book is uh, Who Stole My Cheese? Is that what it's called? Who Stole My Cheese? Who Stole My Cheese? Yeah, because yes, yeah, it's all about, you know, things, especially in this industry, change constantly. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting there waiting for, you know, well, I used to always do this. This was always my source of income. Mm -hmm. You know, where did it go? You have to keep moving. You have to, like, see, okay, this has changed. I've got to go in this direction. Right. Okay, this is no longer there anymore. I've got to go find it over here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. never just, you know. When you have to yeah. change, is it a pain in the butt for you or you just go for it? It's just like you don't even think about it anymore. How hard has change for you guys? We change constantly. <laughs> yes, it's like, hard. I hate it's, <laughs> but there are constantly times when we're sitting there going, oh my gosh, this used to be like a very big source of income for us and it doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. Or they've changed their whole business model and no, it no longer yeah. serves us the way it did. Yeah. Okay, right. then we got to switch. We're going over here. When I gave you that face about change, I've never been one for massive change. Yeah. But I've had to learn how to be really flexible and also mm -hmm. really kind to myself and to us because it's so easy getting older in this business and thinking, oh, you know, our jobs are being taken over by younger people who are coming in or this or that or my voice isn't the same and I can't do you know, 18 year old characters anymore, boy, little boy characters or, you know, whatever the case may be. And it's about being flexible. Like there's enough work. There's so much work. Oh my yes. God. And there's more yes. now so with all work. the, you know, yeah. these with Netflix the and Amazon. And 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 everything. Yeah, so, it, so I think the change is about being flexible. Like we yeah. just started doing radio imaging, I think uh, two years ago. It came really? out of the blue. Mm. Oh my God. It yeah. came out of the blue, but it's something we're both going to Some wow. guy in Africa called you and said, <laughs> that's how it started. Right. Hey, let's talk about looping real quick. Okay. You guys do yeah. a lot of that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so fun. so there's a lot of people out there that probably maybe don't even know what looping is. Can you so you can explain exactly what looping is and, and sure. how, how it's used in the industry? Yeah, typically when they shoot a film, there's the principal actors that are having a conversation. Like if it was us and we were sitting at a coffee shop, say, uh -huh. The only four people that would be Mike would be the four of us. Yeah. Whether we had the you know a boom mic coming in here or the lavaliers on each Everybody of us. Everybody else in the coffee shop. Is Everybody else silent, is pantomiming. Like do you know coffee. why? Why? Because if they were heard, well, first of all, the mic the mic can't stretch that far, and they can't lob everybody. Right. They can't put a lob on everybody. But if they paid everybody, if they, if they were heard talking, mm. they would be principals, or they'd be paid a full rate, a full sag, yeah, rate, scale rate, yeah. as wow. opposed to the full day of okay. of uh, Isn't that extra. Crazy? Yeah. yeah, like a background yeah. worker. Which okay, you know, so the four of us are in a scene, we're yeah. recording, and then and there's happens? tons of other people in the background yeah. at this cafe. Yeah. So instead of them being mic'd and them being paid, <laughs> yeah. or, I mean, like what we're being paid, yeah, they hire six, eight, ten of us to do all the people in the background. Wow. Come in on a sound stage, mm -hmm. watch the screen, and pick out the people that they're going to be and yeah. recreate that sound. Which can get tricky if you're yeah. on the battleship, you know, on the Battlestar Galactica, Galactica where you, <laughs> right. you, know, you can't talk about being on your cell phone and you got yeah, right? to learn a different language. Yeah. Or ancient Rome yeah. if you're yeah. doing wow. Gladiator. I mean, you really have to be flexible. But it's so cool because it really does test those chops of being improvisation Improv. Improv. savvy, yeah. being open, being flexible, just not. Gift to the gap. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. really and, cool because you don't know what's going to happen. Long days. Long days. Yeah, they can be. Yeah, it can be. I mean, we had a job the other day that was three hours, but that's what we negotiated was, okay. you know, a three hour job. Is that like a long day? The no. no. Three a full hours? day no. would be, you know, nine, nine to six. Nine hours. Oh, okay. The other yeah. day we had, what, 400 cues that we did three or four times so we wow. could have stereo passes. No one's yeah. ever heard of that. People you who are in this industry would go, no way. You can't yeah. get that done in a yeah. day, but we did. We did. Yeah. 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 We wow. did it. Because you're the dynamic duo. That's yeah. right. And we had a killer yeah. group of people that we didn't know and they didn't know one another. Because mm. it's such a small group in uh, the looping community yep. and everybody knows one another. So in between takes, there's a lot of uh, joking around. Yeah. Yeah. And none of these people knew one another. 
and uh. so there was no talking. So we were one after the other, after the other, after the other. So there's a, it's so it's beyond automated dialogue replacement, which is ADR. It's yeah. wall, 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 wall. It's making sounds yeah. and creating sounds. But you got to know, you know, we do a lot of research for it. So people are like, what do I have to research? And you know, Grant brought up Battlestar right. Galactica. You got to know a whole language for Battlestar. Scientific it's a whole different terms. thing. And you're on the mm-hmm. bridge. What do you mm-hmm. say? Yeah. CSI. So it's, a, it's a very specialized yeah. Yeah, skill. Yeah. Not everybody is good at it. Yeah yeah. 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 So obviously you guys are unique in many ways, but but your versatility. Unique in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice of me. It's kind. No, yeah, that's, very kind. that's a compliment. <laughs> okay, I see you at the meetings, but I am too. Um, Tough crap. But, but you're very versatile. Mm-hmm. Um, not everybody is. I mean, they have their lane and they are massively impressive at it, but they're not going to necessarily be able to cross into promo, narration, anime, animation, video games. What do you feel, for, especially now in the current marketplace, if you find a, a pigeonhole, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Oh, that's a double-edged, you know, answer, I think. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I think that it's really important to no, I, I, in fact, I, the, these are some answers that okay. I had put together for you guys about like what would be um, advantageous for people to really know. Good. And, Yay. and so one of the answers I think we were talking about pigeonholing. And mm-hmm. so I said is um, knowing who you are. Pigeonhole yourself sometimes works and you know how you have to know how to market that. Mm. All right. Now, I think for people who have that like little tiny voice, you know, you hear a lot of women with that. Yeah, or girls the little with baby that. voice. Yeah. yeah, the baby voice or, or that cute little dolly voice. You got to know how to really market that. So, yeah, you're not going to be doing the stuff that's across the board. But, you know, there are promos for Sprout and there are there are toy manufacturers who've got to get to know you to do mm-hmm. the talk to do talking toys, talking toilets, toys, yep. talking toilets <laughs> Talking, you know, our kids are, you know, when they were learning potty stuff, all this stuff speaks. Yeah. You got to know Play School and 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 Mattel and Hasbro and all the all those companies. So, in that regard, if you if you are kind of a one noted person, know where to work it. Like mm-hmm. n- pigeonhole yourself. Yeah, I say go for Claim it. Claim that. Yeah. Claim that. it. But if you're being pigeonholed as an only 40-something-year-old person, that's not a pigeonhole. Mm. That's age discrepancy or ageism. Mm-hmm. And it says, you don't sound, you know, if I close my eyes, you don't sound, you, you know, you, you, you sound 30 or you sound like a 20-year-old now or you sound like you could be 60. So I, I think in that regard, that's where pigeonholing is not so great, mm. right. you know. Right, right. Um, and, and, but... But I really do believe I can kind of go over some of these. Yeah, yeah please. Kind of yeah. Well, one of, these. of the things about the pigeonholing is like if you are creating an animation demo and some people are concerned, well, I don't have 20 voices or I'm mm-hmm. not that flexible. I think it's more advantageous for you to do four brilliant really voices than have like 20 mediocre ones right. that yes. are yes. just going to make people know that you're not very flexible. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, they talented. get it. They get it. The people <laughs> yeah. listening get it. Like right. that's what you do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and I did that too. I mean, when I was starting out, I knew that the biggest market for anime was the young hero. Like anybody mm-hmm. from like 18 to 25 is going to have the most work and that's mm-hmm. paid by the hour. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get the most lines. Yeah, I'm going to so go there. I'm going to market myself. myself yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was Grant yeah. George, the voice of the young hero. And that got me in a lot of doors that opened, you know, that were for the anime Young heroes, yeah. which ultimately led to the same people that were casting those to mm-hmm. for feature animation and you know TV shows and stuff. So you kind of do that crossover. But I had to get in this one little thing, Brilliant. so I pigeonholed myself in that thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though my demo had, you know, a whole bunch of different voices that I could yeah. do. Right. right. But, That's awesome, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. What's cool. another thing on a list? Um, well, one of the things that we said is we have constant meetings about our next move. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do too. Yeah. Like power, we, we, we call them power, power meetings. Power yeah. meetings. Power yes. Wows. So we have whiteboards okay. in our office. We have whiteboards in our office. And on that is a list of, uh, like, we brainstorm. And then we take those and we put them in order of importance. So mm-hmm. a lot of those may be, like, I have to make a new demo because somebody needs a new um, IVR demo from yeah. me. And mine's a little old. 
So like it's time. So I'm putting that stuff together and what's important and where do I need to do stuff. But if it's out of my brain and on a board, yes. I'm yeah. better and more efficient at getting mm. that done. So constant meetings for us have been like. And super, it's also super a layer of accountability. Yes. When it's right there. It's so fun to cross this, it off this, when you oh, get through yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Good. Oh. Just work that yeah. 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 Stick it up on exactly. your site. <laughs> yeah, make it tangible. Put it out there yes, in the physical world yes. rather than sticking it in your head, mm -hmm. especially when you have ADD like me. What were you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here's some Adderall. Yeah, it's just to constantly not resting on your laurels, as I said before, not allowing your agent to control mm -hmm. that. Like, you've always got to get yourself out there and, and remind people. We have clients that we've worked with for 10 years, and like, you got to remind me that you're there because I keep forgetting about you. I'm like, I just assumed you would yeah. call us because yeah. we've always worked for you, but they're like, we all well, new people come in and they yeah. forget about you. And well, I never even really the thought attention about that. Span. Exactly oh. that. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a different, it's a different loyalty. Yeah, I heard that a couple months ago. Like, hey, Jess, you really got to get your name into my head a little bit more. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I've known you for, I think I've known them for longer than 10 years. And I felt like, I felt like slided at the in the beginning. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Like, why do I need to get my name into your head? And there's my ego coming in. Yeah. But right. I'm not egotistical at all. It was it was like get your get that ego out of the way so that you're marketing yourself to people because, like you said, other people are just gonna get their names in and yep. mm -hmm. you're gonna take whoever's right there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's good, man. Mm -hmm. Um, having a voice, letting people know what we do. Uh. One of the things that we've we've seen turn in the last uh, in the last couple of years are a lot of these um, a lot of these like weekend seminars. And I've been I've gone to women's symposiums and mm -hmm. we've gone and I've spoken at um, boxy lady stuff and you know and I love those. I love knowing my community yeah. Like, yeah. just because I'm. I'm shut. I'm a shut in. I don't get out enough. You know, I like being yeah. out. I'm a person who likes going and talking to people, but there there has to be there there has to be a line drawn where it's like okay i can stand up in front of a group of people who are all working in the same business and tell them all the things that i'm doing and be a mentor and that's one thing yeah. but it's not going to get me a job right. right so it's about going out and talking to everybody about what we do mm. and and keeping your eyes open for you know for things like knowing when conventions are coming up that are you know technological conventions in your area or knowing when cons are coming up and going and meeting people there's not a, a convention that we went to that I didn't ask people who were there um, hey you ever in the need for more voiceover talent or you know could I send you my demo or we're right. just constantly Marketing you to people. are a still mm -hmm. a shameless promoter. <laughs> I'm a, well, I ask. With no yeah. cow suit and, anymore, and but, I ask, yeah. and I've had friends for 17 years and 20 years because I asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We both have. Yeah. What's you know? the worst that could happen? No. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Oh, that's or nothing. A word. A yeah. tiny nothing. Little, yeah, I mean, nothing. nothing bad's going to happen. Just, yeah. you know, the regret of going, oh, gosh, I should have said that. When people present, when there's, there's a reason that you've and we're nice. Gotten in front of people. You are you can, nice. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you are nice. Yeah, and we're fun. And yeah. we, you know, we're like, you could say no. <laughs> yeah. 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 But why would you? Why would you? Yeah. So why would you? <laughs> yeah. I love it. So I think you have to lead people to your websites and you have to lead people to your demos and, mm -hmm. and make yourself known. Um, we already said about playing and getting away from the business, knowing yeah. who you are, classes, and yeah. knowing the evol evolving trends and um, changing your demos. My God, mm. that's so critically important. Yeah, yes. for sure. Yeah, yes. your demos have to change, and they should, they should really change every six months. So, really? Yeah, I, we ch it's hard. <laughs> that's hard to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard yeah. to do if you're busy, yeah. but we right. take one out and put one in. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's easy. You're you not do doing updates. the whole thing. Yeah. No, we, uh, you exactly. got to update it and you got to let people know, I made a new demo. That's a great way to get back in. Mm -hmm. Right. It's exactly. a great, it's yeah. a marketing strategy. Even with exactly. your agent. How do you guys stay fresh and inspired? Summer's Eve. Summer's Eve. Can we play? I knew yes. Summer's Eve. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, Summer's Eve. <laughs> I'm on a boat with my mom. No. Uh, <laughs> Grant, do you ever have that not so fresh feeling? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and I sleep next to it. <laughs> You're supposed to shower. No, no, but how do you rejuvenate? How do you how do you just Irish spring? I, Irish spring. But for real? Gosh. Um, it's guys. tough because it, it's not consistent as yeah. anything in this industry is. You know, there mm -hmm. are times when it's very busy and there are times when it's like, oh my gosh, will I ever work again? Yeah. It's staying positive, having faith. It's uh 
<laughs> laying it down when you need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. gotta honor that. You gotta, you know, I said to somebody the other day, you gotta g allow yourself self time. Yeah, you have to yes. allow that space too. Otherwise, there's no room to receive anything back. If you're so crammed and so going all the time, mm -hmm. there's nowhere for anything to come in. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes, these quiet weeks are the best gifts that we can oh, have absolutely. where we just kind of like recalibrate, yeah. catch yeah. up. And we love when Mercury goes into retrograde. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Except know. for our computers. Right. But we like, yes. you know, we were like, oh, that means that we get to take a rest for the you know mm -hmm. beginning of the month, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's really, I mean, it, it's okay to trust in the fact that you, there's there's more than enough that things will keep keep going on and that it's okay to get away from it and I remember walking down Burbank years ago and seeing this guy that I loop with a lot and he was with his son and he was walking down the street having a great time Juan mm -hmm. and and I was like gosh man that's so cool yeah. like in the middle of the day meanwhile it was during my frenetic frantic I've got to have it got to need it got to got to got to got to it was yeah. before I had kids I think yeah. and and I said a couple of years ago 10 but I you know I think that that's really about having life and work always comes to him mm -hmm. yeah. work always always comes always comes you know you're doing the work to get your name out there but something's gonna show up for you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. You guys cool. are the best. You you guys are really yeah. cool, man. I'm very very uh, fond. You used of to be cool, <laughs> and <laughs> you're still you. cool. Yeah. I can't believe I haven't known you until. I now. know. I love it. I, I love that you have this great history, and oh, I mean, gosh. I feel like it's a quiet Goodness history. It's a quiet yeah. history. It's a quiet history. <laughs> it's a very quiet. Only history. for the exclusive memoir. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> well, we couldn't even write a book about it. Um, uh, we couldn't. No. Yeah. Um, so good. People would buy it. Juicy. But yeah. then Juicy. we'd have to leave town. Yeah. Um, uh, let's put them on the okay. little hot seat there. Let's, so, I think no. we should each get a card. Yes. So cards pick, Against Humanity. Pick a card. Oh, yeah. Cards Against Humanity. A pasty White Man Boy is probably what the cards <laughs> will say. That's what I always tend to get with those cards. Pasty White Man Boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Maybe Jess goes first. Buzz in when you're ready. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you can go first. Well, but re you got to oh. read the, the question too, so that in it, your opinion, what are the seven wonders of the world? <laughs> you want him to go first? Grant's so you can think hair. About that. Uh, Grant's <laughs> eyes. Grant's, Grant's teeth. Lips. That's right. <laughs> Grant's legs. Right. <laughs> right. Um, go ahead. What's yours say? Mine what says, "What's the most amazing weather you've seen?" What? What's the most amazing? You got an easy seen? one. We Do saw you want some a different cool one? Weather. Yeah, is that too boring? I don't know. We were just in Texas if on a you, convention, you and you I don't can like see that one. Texas. I can see Ohio. I can feel cards, from Texas. Chuck doesn't oh, we like it. Throw those cards away. Uh -huh. what kind of a you want something juicier? Yeah, throw them. Just chuck right. them. Chuck there them. You right. go. Bam. Bam. <laughs> All right. Okay. Maybe. It's a chance card. But if I was going to say the seven wonders of the world. Okay, yes. no, no matter what this is, no, you can't. You threw it away. <laughs> that was that was well, you may you throw it away. We've, we've moved on oh. now, Jess. Okay. We'll reveal that. You can tweet those later. Oh. Wow, I was just talking about this today. Hmm. Huh. What do you think is the ideal age? Oh. For um, what? Yeah, for what? Mm. I love, um, well... It's a hard question for me because every age has brought so many different things. I, I love being in my 30s because I think 30s was growth. Like that was where the growth was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the time I hit 40 and I just hit 40, I'm <laughs> so lying. But, <laughs> but, um, you don't but, look a deal with yeah, 23. Yeah, 23. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but by the time I was 40, I was making decisions and they had a period at the end of them. Yes, the people pleasing was over. Yeah. Nice. Yes. yeah. And then when I got to be a little older, mm -hmm. 41, um, 42, you know, it, it's it, I, every different age brings a different aspect. I think I'm 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 freer now. And mm -hmm. so at the yeah. age that I'm at, I'm freer. It's easier. It's it, well, there's a lot of tough stuff that happens in our life. We're human. Yeah. But, you know, th it's it, the, the thing. My priorities are really different. Mm -hmm. You know, at 30, if you asked me what was more important, family or voiceover, yeah. I could clearly tell you <laughs> it was voiceover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and that lasted for, you know, the next 10 years yeah. and then maybe into my 40s. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. cool. And now, totally different. What's important is love and my family and my animals mm -hmm. and my friends and 
you know, like, did I say my kids? I forgot that one. But family. My family, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 family. They're yeah. included Just in that. Did totally. I say my kids? <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh. Grant, what do you say? Mine says, do you tend to live in the past, present, or future? Oh. All of the above. <laughs> yeah, at the uh. same time. Uh, unfortunately, I've been living a lot in the future. Spending a lot of time focusing on not necessarily like worrying about the future yeah. and missing the present. You've really got to stay present. Mm -hmm. I'm not so, I haven't spent so much time in the past. I was born to a family that really honors the past and likes to tell stories about the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how I always was. He knows every song to every show that was ever put on television from 1961 forward. This is taking really? useless wow. space in my You're going to be the phone a friend. Study? You're the phone a friend. Phone a friend. <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> Call me. Totally. Yes, put exactly. Him on the way. That's yeah. awesome. He always oh. knows the answers to those things. It's mm. weird because we'll be with friends who are 20 years older and he'll be <laughs> singing that song. the cool. world don't move to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, that's so. great. I love it. Spend you more guys, time in the what present. a joy to have you here. Absolutely, oh, thank man. you. We just thank you, wish you sure. so much abundance and happiness and joy with your family and your yes. work. Yes. And yes. Thank you for just putting yourselves out there and all you do. It's just such a joy to have you in this business and to share this world with you. Thank you. Mm. Thanks for letting us share our story. We think it's Absolutely. pretty yeah. cool. Much, much continued success yeah. to you and you. those little rascals out there yeah. right. and uh, the boy the wonders cool is that at some point you guys are going to be able to chill mm -hmm. yeah. listen he and said future, and then you'll, go, you'll, you'll be sitting over there and they'll be sitting yeah. there and we'll be talking to them and nothing will That's make right. me happier I'll be the Hollywood mom going Yay. smile smile yeah. smile, yeah. smile. Yeah. smile. smile. <laughs> well, well thank you guys we absolutely. really appreciate yeah. it and we just love doing this and you know I've missed you and I'm so glad to know you yeah, so, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, too, you. you too. We're gonna, right. we're, gonna, we're gonna do some more hang in <laughs> yes. and okay. have some good times mm -hmm. together. Get good. away from the VO thing for a while. <laughs> but you guys aren't, because we're gonna <laughs> be right. here next week with another VO Buzz yes. Weekly. Oh yeah. Right. Take care See everybody. See you later, guys. Hi, I'm Jessica G. George. And I'm Grant George. And we just, just got, got buzzed with, with Chuck, Chuck and Stacy. Oh yeah. So guys, just remember, keep it fun. Have have a good life, you know? Go out and get life experience, and that's always gonna create the space for your own creative endeavors. Don't make it all about voiceover. I have to say ditto to that one, and you took the words right out of my mouth. Don't. I think it's about loving what you do and um, doing what you love, and as cliche as that sounds, it's so incredibly important to live by that. Um, and, and just constantly reinventing who you are and what you do and knowing that there's a difference between the two of those. Who I am is not what I do, so. Right, yeah. and you want to be a human being, not a human doer. Doer, right. There you go. Yeah. Well, that concludes our wonderful two-part episode mm -hmm. with Grant and Jessica G. George. Amazing! They're incredible. What a team! What a treat! And those boy wonders. Absolutely. Hey, maybe someday you guys get to meet the boy wonders, huh? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, too. Awesome. We really appreciate it. We love you, and just remember, you, you always, always have, have time for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on, and get buzzed with us. Buzz, 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 buzz. The Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo that Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.